Hi, and welcome back to the PDF Element channel. My name's George. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some tips on how to edit your PDFs between your phone and your desktop. I'm sure these tips will be able to help you work with your PDFs much more efficiently and comfortably, especially if you use a new iPhone 14 or another smartphone to boost your productivity. Welcome back to the PDF Element channel. Today, editing PDFs is often necessary when you're trying to fill out a form, annotate documents, or mark up some text. Generally, the most useful way to do this is by using specific software. But let's be honest, you should know that it can be done on different platforms, including Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. Let's say you have different devices in different locations, and you want to continue editing on a document without needing to bring a flash drive or a memory card with you, then this feature is gonna be very useful for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you a method so you can transfer and edit your PDFs between your phone and your desktop. And and vice versa in just a few seconds using PDF Element. We're going to go through these steps. Enable Document Cloud, uploading files to the cloud, setting up your phone to use Document Cloud, edit and share your PDFs between your phone and your Windows PC, and edit and share your PDFs between your phone and your Mac. Before going any further, please make sure you've got PDF Element downloaded. You can do that by going to the download link in the description below this video. Number one, enable Document Cloud. The first thing we need to do is to enable the Document Cloud feature. This feature will allow us to work with different documents across various devices. To enable Document Cloud, you're first going to need to sign into your Wondershare ID. If you don't have one yet, you can do this from any device while using PDF Element. Once you've created your Wondershare ID, you can use the same account across all your devices to keep them connected. Now I'll show you how to create a Wondershare ID. Once you've opened PDF Element, click on the login button at the top right with the window. Now click on the create account link. Fill in the form and when you're ready, click on create account. Now you can start using this feature. To get started, simply go to the document cloud section. That was very easy, right? Now let's get started and upload some files that we're going to edit. Number two, upload local files to the cloud. Once you've enabled the document cloud feature, you will have one gigabyte of free storage with no size or format limitations and it's free to use. I'll start by explaining how to do this in the Windows version. There are many ways to upload your documents to the cloud but definitely the easiest way to do it is by clicking on this cloud icon at the top right of the window within the document cloud section. This will bring up a Windows Explorer pop-up where you need to set the local part of the document you want to upload to the cloud. When you finish, you will see a window where you will have to confirm the name with which you want to store the document in the cloud. Once you have done it, click on upload. The time this process takes depends on your internet connection, but it shouldn't take too long. You can see the progress bar next to the document name. When your document has successfully uploaded to the cloud, you will notice that it is listed in the document cloud section. If you are a Mac version user, let's see how this process is done on a Mac. The first thing you should do is go to the document cloud section. Once you're there, you can either drag or drop your documents into the window or click the upload files button to use the Mac OS file explorer to set the path where your document is located. You can also upload any document you've previously opened with PDF Element from the home section. All you have to do is click on the three dots button and select the upload document cloud option in the drop down menu. Now all you have to do is wait for your documents to finish uploading to the cloud and when they are ready you will see them listed in the document cloud section. As you can see this process is quite similar between both systems and it only takes a few seconds. Now it's time to talk about our mobile devices. Number three, set up your phone to use document cloud. To start editing your documents between your phone and your desktop, you'll first need to connect your phone to the Wondershare cloud with PDF Element. I'll start by first showing you how to do this on an Android phone. First, open the PDF Element app on your phone and tap the user button on the top left of the screen. Now, tap on the login option at the top. A pop-up window will appear where you have to enter login with the Wondershare ID that we created earlier. Now, let's see how to perform this task from an iPhone. After opening the app, tap the user button at the top left of the window. Now, tap on the login option at the top and enter your Wondershare ID to log in. If everything's fine from the connection section, you'll be able to interact with the documents that you previously uploaded to Document Cloud. And that's it, your phone is now connected to the Wondershare Document Cloud. Now let's talk about how to edit your PDFs between your phone and your desktop. Number four, edit and share your PDFs between your phone and your desktop. Your devices are already connected to the Document Cloud, and this means that all your devices have access to the same documents. Now I'll show you how to edit them. Now I'm gonna show you how to perform this task on PDF Element for Windows. First, make sure you open your document from the document cloud section. Now it's time to make some edits. The most relevant section for editing your document is, without a doubt, the edit section. In this section, you will find tools to add text, images, links, watermarks, backgrounds, headers, footers, and even form templates. To edit the content of a paragraph, simply make sure you have the edit text or edit all option activated and click on the paragraph you want to edit. So now you can freely edit the content of the paragraph. Once you have made the modifications you need, simply click on the save button at the top left of the window. Now, a confirmation pop-up will appear. Simply click on continue trial. Now, from your phone, go to the connection section and open your document. As you can see, the document is now up to date. And in case you're wondering, you can also edit the document from your phone. Just make sure to save changes when you're done. 
The document cloud feature is great for transferring and editing your documents between devices, but you can also use this feature to be able to share shareable links with anyone that doesn't have one to share PDF element. Let me show you how to do this. All you have to do is open your document from the document cloud section and click on the share button located in the upper right corner of the window. Once this is done, simply click on the copy link button and voila, now you only have to share the text link with whom you want to share your document. Number five, how to edit and share your PDFs between your phone and your Mac. If you're a Mac user, don't worry, this process is quite similar. Just make sure you open your document from the document cloud, then go to the edit section and use the text feature. In this way, you'll be able to modify any paragraph from your document. When you're done, pull down the application's file menu, go to the share submenu, and choose the document cloud option. That's it, your document should now be up to date and ready to use from any of your devices. And if you want to create a shareable link, just go to the documents list in the document cloud section, click on the three dots button and select the create shareable link option. Thank you for watching and thank you so much for staying until the end of this video. As you can see, the new features of PDF Element are extremely powerful and will allow you to work on PDFs no matter where you are. Don't forget to take a look at the rest of this channel. I'm sure you'll find many other useful tips that may help you such as how to share PDFs between Mac and PC, how to store and sync your PDFs with Apple Books, or how to share your PDF files from your computer to your phone or iPad. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss future videos. I will see you in the next one.